Hey everyone, Chloe here and welcome back to my channel. And if you are new here, ladies and lurkers, welcome. So this video is a follow up to my feminine maintenance series. And this video will be a continued feminine school discussion on the necessary topic of being provided for by men. Now the mid maintenance dynamic or the medium maintenance woman is the woman who is far from a low maintenance woman, but she is also far from being hypergamous as she is typically the working woman whose mindset is fixated on the virtues of fairness and being fair to men and equality and being the good girl who doesn't make waves in the realm of men. The mid maintenance woman's mantra, teamwork makes the dream work and that is until it doesn't. The mid maintenance woman is the woman who cannot shake or let go of the idea of being fair or being a helper to men. Now these 50-50 arrangements or air quote equality arrangements or this split the bills down the middle arrangement is what is taught to be the ideal standard of romantic relationships. But when examined a bit more in depth, these relationships are generally filled with quiet resentments, lots of mini power struggles, and deeply embedded and corrosive and imploding frustrations that often come to a volcanic boiling point. And why does this often happen in the medium maintenance dynamic? Because a woman who isn't allowed at some point in her life to fully rest in her feminine or in her marriage or in her relationship will become a bitterly resentful workhorse. And ladies and lurkers who are triggered and who are listening and ear hustling, we see and we experience these kinds of bitterly angry women of all shades every day. Uh, ladies, being overtaxed and frustrated and drained and exhausted and physically overwhelmed from doing it all alone or both taking care of home and commuting and working outside of the home are the supposed gains of being a strong, independent, modern woman. However, and this is a big however, the problem is that the independent women gains, okay, the gains that we have earned in the women's movement do not feel so rewarding when a woman is experiencing them in her marriage and her romantic partnerships. And this topic isn't openly discussed enough. Now, I am not saying that 50-50 relationships are doomed from the start. What I am saying is that the mid-maintenance struggle dynamic is a tick-tick-boom dynamic that will cause a relationship to corrode from the inside out. And what I am also saying is that the wiring of a woman, and I want you to listen carefully, ladies, will always take over. And when a woman is overworked, she will be tired and she will desire deep down in her loins to be rescued and to be taken care of and to be taken on an extended vacation off of the merry-go-round of the work-life balance fantasy Ferris wheel. And if her man cannot create an opportunity for her to get off of the struggle bus, independent woman joyride turned nightmare, her admiration and respect for him will lessen and lessen until it turns into full-blown disrespect and emasculation. And this is especially true for women who become mothers. And if a tired and resentful working woman or working mom even catches a dagger glimpse of another woman being provided for and relaxing in her feminine, she will seethe with rage and become comparative and competitive and hashtag big mad at the other woman who gets to play the role of Miss Feminine slash Susie Homemaker. Uh, ladies, the number one problem with having a mid maintenance mindset is that men do not respect fair or reasonable. Men actually get over on fair and reasonable, nor do they respect a woman who is being nice. Nice girls have always finished last when they fundamentally do not understand men. And if a woman is giving away her crown jewel without reaping the full benefits of having a protector and a provider, she will feel used and exploited. Uh, ladies, it is in a man's nature to be way more interested in being needed and being the hero. And men are way more interested in growing and expanding in their masculine than being helped, assisted, or enabled by a woman because when a woman is helping a man in his masculinity, she will never stop reminding him that they both share a title of wearing the pants and being the boss. And the mid maintenance dynamic will offer very little wiggle room for a man's masculinity and his virility to grow 
mature, expand, and flourish. Because the men maintenance dynamic also means that a man will never be able to lay claim to the ego stroking or the masculine satisfaction that comes with being respected as a leader and the boss. And contrary to popular belief, a man is way more inclined to respect and value a woman who brings out the best in their masculinity, and that is usually the woman who makes it a hypergamous standard that a man 100% provide plus tax. And this is where the hypergamous, high maintenance standard and mindset, which will be the next video in the series and is the reason why you need to subscribe to this channel. The high maintenance standard, ladies, is the high value woman standard that will always reign supreme because men respect what they pay for and men respect what they invest in. And women who are invested in are usually the most balanced women and are usually the most feminine. So that is all that I have to say on this for now. Ladies, the mid maintenance dynamic is often a not discussed topic and our mothers and our families generally do not teach us about being maintained and being provided for by men at all. And this is the tie that finally seems to be changing. So now it's your turn. Ladies, are you a mid maintenance woman? And are you a woman who has been or is currently in the mid maintenance dynamic? And how has that worked out for you? Please share your story below. And when it comes to housework, who is the person that often ends up with the shortest end of the stick? So let me know your triggered thoughts and feelings below and stay tuned for more feminine school videos to come and I will catch up with you ladies and you lurkers in the next one.